Where did all the jars go? Really? Stick around, y'all. Hey, hey, YouTube. Welcome back to Arabin Outdoors. Hey, I'm Arabin, but you knew that, didn't you? Well, I'm under the porch because it's a rainy Saturday. I just recently did, about a week ago, a video called uh, Prepping Checkup, where I did a checkup of my my main preps, like, you know, food and water, etc., uh, just to see where I stood, how much food I had, water, how long that might last, my wife and I. And I was pretty pleased with where I was at the time. I mean, I, I we have um, enough food and water to last us a little over a month. But then I started thinking later on that week about, well, okay, maybe it's time to step it up a little bit. So... I decided I'm going to try my hand at canning and dehydrating. Now, fortunate enough I'm to, to experiment and try it, uh, my in-laws have a dehydrator that they're going to let me borrow so I can play around with it to see if it's something that I want to do. If so, I'll invest in one. But they're going to let me borrow theirs to get started. And then I also want to start with doing some uh, canning which I don't know why they call it canning because you put it in jars shouldn't it be called jarring <laughs> but anyway so I did a lot of research on this and uh, I lot, watched a lot of YouTube videos read a lot of articles I think that is the next step in my prepping evolution as far as food preps uh, for long-term food preps. I, I plan on making a video about my first canning experience. Um, and that'll probably be later on this week. I'll, I'll tell you why in a, in a little bit. I said, well, let me go to Walmart and get, get what I need to get started. So I went to the dry goods area where they keep the rice and the dried beans and etc. The shelves were almost bare. There were no 20-pound bags of beans or rice at all. None. And there were only about three bags of 8-pound white, long-grain white rice, which is what I want to do. And then there were some 5-pound bags of uh, beans, assorted beans. And not even many of those. So I grabbed some of the uh, eight pound bags of rice and uh, some of the five pound bags of beans. Then I went to the pasta section. Same thing. Not much to go with at all. So I grabbed uh, a few boxes of the elbow macaroni type of pasta. But I'm gonna start with dry canning on, and do some of my dry goods. Then after getting what little bit of dry goods were available, I went over to where they keep the can or the jars. The shelf was empty. There was one case of half gallon mason jars, which I don't want to use the half gallons, not right now anyway. I couldn't even buy enough dry goods to fill up all of those. So no pint size, no quart size, which is what I want. I want the quart size mason jars. So anyway, I went ahead and and uh, paid for my stuff. And I said, well, let me think where else in my little town can I buy jars. And I came up with three places that usually have jars. I went to the first one, which was Dollar General. Nope, the shelf was empty. I said, well, there's another place, Roses. Let me go to Roses. I know I've seen them there before. Didn't know where they kept them, so I just asked the clerk. I said, uh, yeah, where are your mason jars? He said, well, they're usually right over here, and he pointed a couple aisles down. He said, but we're out. I'm like, great, okay. Well, I got one more shot. 
Uh, when you go to IGA, for those of you who aren't region specific to where I am, uh, IGA is a grocery store that you normally find out in rural areas. I walked into the IGA and I didn't know where they might be. I saw the stock boys stocking on just about every aisle. I'm like, well, that's a good sign. So I just approached one of them. I said, yeah, can you tell me where uh, do you guys have mason jars? He said, I think I saw some on the truck this morning, but I don't think they've been put out yet. Let me go to the back and check for you. I'm like, well, gee, thanks. That's awesome. I'm like, yes, finally going to give me some jars. Yeah, three or four minutes, he comes back out. He says, well, that pallet's already been taken out. They must already be on the shelf, so let's go take a look. They're on aisle six. So he and I walked over to aisle six, and he pointed me to the shelves, and this is what we saw. Yeah, nothing. He said, that happens every week. They got a shipment in earlier that day. Now, this was like later in the day. This was like four, between four and five o'clock. They had a shipment. The glass jars were stocked. The shelves were full. By the time I got there, they were already gone. And he said that that happens every week. Man, where are the jars, y'all? Uh, anyway, uh, so frustrated and nowhere in my, nowhere else in my little town to search. I went home and I said, well, I guess I'm going to have to go to Amazon. I was even more motivated to do this now, seeing the lack of goods to put in the jars and the lack of jars in general. So I'm like, well, I, I've got, I got to order them. I got to have them delivered. So let's do it. I don't pay more for something if I can get the same thing cheaper. So I looked and I found the cheapest one quart mason jars with the lids and the rims in a case of 12. The cheapest I could find was $34.99. I knew that was overpriced and I went and I read some of the reviews and even people were saying, you guys are proud price gouging. These prices are outrageous. This is ridiculous. But people do it because they have to, I guess. They're probably in the same boat as me where there's nothing available. So you have to order online and you have to pay the prices. I think it's very sad that Amazon allows these buyers to gouge the prices the way they do. But, uh, Amazon gets their share, so they don't care. Twelve one-quart mason jars for $35. Um, I didn't feel good about it, but I needed them. I placed the order. And then uh, a few hours later, I was uh, sitting around. I was thinking, you know what? What about Walmart.com? So I got my phone out, and I went to Walmart.com, and sure enough, there's the exact same thing. One case of 12 one quart mason jars, um, just like on Amazon, $11.47. I'm like, dang, okay. So the first thing I did next, I flipped over to Amazon, canceled that order, and I went ahead to Walmart.com and I said, well, shoot, I could get three cases for what I was going to spend on one. Let me go ahead and order three cases. So I pulled them up, select quantity three. You've exceeded your limit of two items. So Walmart does have them on Walmart.com, but you can only order two at a time. So I went ahead and ordered them. And uh, for one third of the price of what I was going to spend on Amazon. So. I'm making this video just to let you guys who are in the prepping uh, world know if you don't already, you may and probably are further along the prepping uh, evolutionary scale than I am. So this is probably not new news to you, but uh, if you're just getting into prepping and uh, you are wanting to start canning, dry canning or otherwise, you might want to get out there now and get what you can get while you can because I think it's only going to get worse. Like I say, I'm going to start with dry canning. 
and I'm going to make a video this week when the cans come in of the process, how you do that, and the advantages of it, and my first experience at, at doing it, and I'm have you guys come along with me. So I hope you'll come and join me for that video later on this week. But I just want to bring it to your attention. Shortages are happening. Now that I'm wanting to extend the shelf life of my preps and build them up, canning is the way to go for long term. And I was just really, I mean, it, it, it really woke me up about this shortage thing that people have been talking about. Yeah, it's, it's happening. And I think it's only going to get worse. Get out there now. Get what you need. Get your food. Get your dry goods. Uh, get things that you want to start dehydrating and canning for long term. Get the equipment. I also looked for a dehydrator while I was at Walmart. None. Okay? While I was in the canning section, I looked for a pressure cooker. None. I'm hoping I'll be able to find a pressure cooker online. But that's going to have to wait till payday. This kind of thing is getting hard to find, guys. So if you're just starting out, get out there and do it. And now if you, if you can, and do as much as you can, um, when you can, because it's only going to get worse. So anyway, till next time, guys, keep calm, carry on, keep it outdoors. Musical